So we've got three packages and two individual things from right stuff. Let's see, move that aside. We've got number one. Interesting. Didn't come with any of those um, inserts that Rice Stuff stuff normally does. So it's not a problem. I might be one of the few people that wasted advertising. But I say that, and um, here we have some right here, and we've got a seat there. I think I pre-ordered that. Oh well. And then this one, I, I can feel the opening down here. And this is the real meat of the update, but let's uh, just go in reverse order here. We have Blu-ray of Horus Prince of the Sun, Little Norse Prince. I do believe I have this on DVD somewhere, somehow, somewhere. Because it seems familiar. Oh dear. It's almost like a discotheque release. Because of course that's what it is. And I guess I'm kind of curious why I'm taking this off. Come on, focus. Huh. English, Japanese and an isolated musical score. Interesting. See? I don't know. I'm not thinking too much about it. Does this say the region anywhere on it? I guess it says region A there. Next up we've got Naruto Shippuden DVD set 30 arrived technically yesterday and Horace arrived on Saturday. So as you can see, um, you know, good timing. Stuff. Hmm. Two discs. Simple enough. Okay, episode 388. Next up we've got Girls Beyond the Wasteland, and there we go, the Blu-ray version there. Because this is a Sentai release, and that's the way the cookie crumbles. Okay, let's see. This is Japanese with English subtitles only, so no dub. Hmm. I'm not sure what to make of her. It feels like it's not quite any of the archetypes I'm used to seeing, per se. Assuming I even completely understand what I'm saying. Or just expressing it right around. Let's see, this is Region A only. Let's see. So the artwork on the first discs are the same. And the disc second discs are the same. As you can see. But this three seems to be what's unique to the DVD version here. Which I guess is the slightly more attractive ish or maybe slightly more erotic ish of them just because she's wearing less because she's wearing a swimsuit whatever blu-ray version of Gundam 0083 um, 
wondering, is this a part one or is this... This should be enough. It was a four DVD release. So it was probably a 13 episode series, maybe? Although I've never seen it. And I think it's some of the better Gundam out there. Oh well. Let's see, I guess we've got 13 episodes. So that would be consistent with... Um, my... Oh dear, it's almost like... Hmm, well, this one isn't a discotheque. This is, a uh, Right stuff. Oh. Hmm. It doesn't feel like it does that, uh, split in the middle thing. So, it's, a uh, old school DV style where it's one solid strip, just like that. Oh, the important thing is now we can take a peek at on the inside. Well, loose. Yes, you can tell it's Gundam because it has robots and persons. And nothing on the inside sleeve, but that's okay. And last but not least, the Blu-ray release of Martian Success in Nadesico. Which is a Nozomi, so it's right stuff. But it's interesting because this one's... I don't think it says Nozomi anywhere on here, so it's really a Sunrise right stuff thing. But Nozomi, I think, is right stuff's release label, I, unless something changed. And that's who I would have expected to really much except in that episode. But I don't know. Maybe it's right stuff doing it on behalf of Sunrise, and this one is what it is. It should be English dubbed, English and Japanese language stereo. That says Region A, so it is Region A. Okay, so that guy is the disc. This one. Okay, I was wondering. This uh, says uh, it has the movie. Although that font feels a little tricky to mentally parse, I guess. I wonder what's on the bonus disc. Maybe it says on the back. I don't know. I guess that's uh, this week's anime DVD collection update. I'm not sure if there's really all that much to um, talk about. I guess I did watch a little Steins Gate with a friend. You know, because we thought One Punch Man would be earlier in the month, but it looks like it's coming out later in the month. Now, it could ship any time between now and then, just because uh, that one I pre-ordered from Right Stuff, and, you know, that's the way they ship. But, yeah, Steins Gate, you know, it's actually very nice. There's a couple strange things I've noted, like, um... I don't know, like Shining Fingers interaction with our main character when they first meet. Seems a lot about a little out of character with how I th think she would be. I could kind of understand some argument for why it would be, but it's strange. Other than that, I've been obviously uh, continuing to play Breath of the Wild. I am close. I took on a lot of the main story stuff. My last quest item that I have right now is take on the main figure, the main bad guy, you know, and um, I think I have five more shrines to find and maybe eight luminous stone and five Lionel guts away from completely upgrading all of the armor. Even stuff I don't really need, but you know, you never know what you want to look like when you uh, take on the final battle, I guess. That's maybe just an excuse, though. But you know, outside of that, and the truth of the matter is, I'm not entirely sure where to search for those five shrines. You know, I guess it just means that um, maybe within the next week, uh, I stand a good chance of um, beating the game. And then I've got all this anime to decide what I'm going to watch. It's a lot of good looking stuff. Obviously, Naruto really Shippuden is going to get a watch just because I'm going to watch that with my friend. But, uh, yeah. Oh well. Uh, 
Y'all have a nice week.